Also, I'm definitely digging the new uh, Up Next screen that I threw together. It's just my hitbox art, but modified. Yeah. But hey, I dig that art, so it works. It's got the gear text. It's good. Yep. All right. So over here, also, I have my webcam off. Didn't need to. Yeah. Whatever. What do you mean? That looks like you. I mean, that looks like me everywhere online. So, you know, that counts. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So let's see. About a 10 minute match. Um, I'm probably going to watch a little bit of it and skip through and then restart and actually That's talk fine. more about it. <laughs> I have no idea what happened in the match anyway. Don't worry. Same. <laughs> Yeah, but I was in the match. <laughs> Just gonna be throwing out some random thoughts here too. These are totally not thought through. But uh, you started the round by giving him just like a lot of respect. I don't uh, know how your guys' buttons line up at round start, but uh, he has far slash. Which is really annoying. That's fair. But, like, you gave him the entire screen, and your general, like, win position uh, uh, is up close. I mean, yes and no. Uh, I, if I backdashing at round start, I have the threat of just charging cards indefinitely, so I force them to come into a range. Fair. I feel like buttons. Faust has the ability to just, like, scapple you, though, if you do that. Oh, yeah, he totally does, but Dre doesn't, so... <laughs> okay. I thought it was fine. Oh. Speaking of that move. Oh, sick. Oh, oh here's the fucking meme. <laughs> <laughs> sick. So glad I was down back the whole time and <laughs> just didn't get hit by the low. Yeah, I definitely need to learn how to down back in the air. Because I definitely just swap to down. Uh, upon landing and get meatied blow sometimes. Mm -hmm. It seems like you're getting quite a few stray hits that you're just like not able to confirm into things. I don't know if that's like range or just like, you know, like if that move just doesn't oh. convert there or if it's like something with your combo route knowledge, but. I mean, typically if it's uh, a 6H, I need counter hit. That's the if dash and it's... kick, right? Yeah. If it's, okay, if it's yeah. far slash range, the best I can do is a 2D. Gotcha. Oof. Yeah, no, that happened to be twice this set, I think. Yeah, let's save a little bit of time by skipping ahead, but... Alright, and counter hit, it's that 6H into puffball and did lots yeah. and lots of damage. Okay. Yeah, it's 6H puffball, puffball follow-up, or... Puffball yeah, into just full charge card. Gotcha. I be very careful about running up that close. Oh, I, <laughs> I know. know you know, but <laughs> uh, it is because <laughs> uh, it's because I have the threat of just instant overhead RC. Okay, fair. It makes people not want to throw me. That is because... that is like a reasonable answer. I thought you were gonna say um, it was because Dre hasn't been throwing you on wake up, and I was gonna be like, okay, so there's playing the player, and then there's getting bad habits <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> uh, no, so like I do this against Miles all the time because I play him so much, but I've hit him with the instant overhead so much uh, that he will let me. Just like walk up and press 5k on his wake up without yeah, even it makes like 50 50. That makes sense. Yeah. So it looks like it's dumb. It's only dumb if I don't have 50 meter. Because <laughs> if they're paying attention and I don't have 50 meter, they should just be throwing me. That's fair. But I know Miles doesn't check meter, so mm. it's free. this oh, cool okay was that supposed to be the low kick or was that uh like supposed to be a car or something uh no that was supposed to be low kick delay something but i okay. delayed too long and got hit gotcha that's what it looked like i just wasn't sure <laughs> yeah 
Also, I am here interested to hear your thoughts as we're going through this as well, the first time. Yeah. Uh... That was supposed to be instant air backdash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel that. A anytime you see me just, like, super jump on round start backwards, totally my supposed to be a super jump IAD, or just an IAD, that I accidentally just super jump. Gotcha. Is super jumping is actually really bad on round start, because it... Uh, instant air back dashing lets me hit the ground a lot faster and actually a threat of charging a card. If I super jump, it's just like, well, they saw me. <laughs> yeah, I'm floating Can't up here a for a bit. <laughs> oh, here's the, here's the second purple reefer. Ooh. I definitely didn't Why did I remember this? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Something else I had a very hard time against is a. Uh, so many of Dre's just, uh, uh, FD canceled jump 2Ks. Oh, yeah. The, the like, instant overhead uh, drills. Yeah, well, uh, he doesn't really do the instant overhead part of the <laughs> instant overhead drill. <laughs> okay. But, or actually, I mean, he does a fair amount of it. It's just, like, it's so hard to block and react to. Yeah, it's, like, it's both really fast and, I mean, like, what are you going to stuff it with? That's going to hit low enough to beat your 6P, probably. <laughs> That said, uh, I don't know for sure it's worth labbing. Oh my god, okay, that that was a beautiful yeah. setup. <laughs> yeah. The other thing I have a hard time with is even if I do connect a 6P, it's so hard to get anything off of it from that angle. Yeah, that's fair. Does it at least counter hit? Uh, counter hit, like, doesn't do much for me. <laughs> uh <laughs> <laughs> got messed up by the oil. I forgot it had the uh, the lower movement speed, too. Well, like, I don't think that even mattered, because he teched out in the air still, but, like... Mm-hmm. Who? Okay. Me. Uh, real quick, on this one, what was it that you should have done here to get the combo? Uh... Was it, it just... was either that or nothing. <laughs> it, like, honestly, it's either I RC'd the hit and try to go for uh, a PK combo, or I knew that that wasn't going to hit, so instead of doing Puffball, I do a different special, uh, Swoos, just to get closer. But okay. uh, that was just a weird hit in the air. Is it didn't just let me confirm. the... Like the height of the hit, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I th I guess I could have also done Ryujin. Maybe it would have hit. Oh yeah, I mean, probably. I don't know. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> but that, that's like such a worth. It's a much harder confirm, and I need cards which I don't have. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, something to mess better. with at some point as well. Also, uh, Dre is saying that the drill is safe with jump 2K. Oh yeah, yeah. It's really annoying. <laughs> Ouch. So what is the thought process behind uh, a lot of these 6Hs, by the way? Like, I'm just curious uh, as to why you're choosing to use that move in the situations that you are. Uh, generally, it's at a range where it moving forward enough lets me get in. Uh, especially against, like, certain of his low buttons. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm assuming uh, that just crushes 2H, like, thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ooh. Was it? Also, if, if oh, I nice. get the counter hit on one of his buttons, and I actually get the puff puff follow-up, I get a full char card charge or a partial card charge into more neutral. But now I have a card, sure. so anything I do is rewarded. <laughs> uh, how's 6H on block and, like, your options out of it? Options is parry or basically puff special swoos. Okay. Uh, um, is the puff ball fast enough to hit just like block and then press a low? Uh, you can punish me. You, you can uh, mash and hit me if I'm close enough. But if it's like tipper range, you're going to whiff your button and I'm going to counter hit you. Okay. Because I was going to say, because the low would beat parry and uh 
puffball if puffball's too slow and swoosh, yeah. so. Well, it depends what low you're hitting. Fair. Because, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ash has gotten mad about this so much, but they mash out with Johnny's 2P and I go under it. It's so funny. <laughs> and you go under ooh. it with swoosh, or? Yeah. Okay. Just, it, it's not it's not touching the ground, so I'm under it. Huh. Like, I think I've... Uh, what is it? Oh yeah, minus six, like, so it is technically true punishable by a decent amount of stuff. Oh yeah, no, it's like very true punishable, but like... If, uh, if it's like tip range to mm -hmm. actually be true punishable, it's like... Uh, I have to be so close. Yeah. Uh, hey, we... Miles, since I know you're watching in chat, uh, your 2D is frame 8, so that's probably the button you want to press afterwards. So if oh, it hits, you I get knocked counter... down. Oh, but if I get counter hit puffball... Alright, uh, I do need to check the gap on that. Uh, it's probably way bigger than 6 frames. Well, it needs to be bigger than 8. I think it's probably like 10 or something. Let's see. Or actually, probably not. 6H Actually, into... Yeah. what is Puffball called? <laughs> uh... Scenery sh uh, something. Um... Oh, do you have to go into, uh... Yeah, it's to a 236SS. Okay, yeah, that's like 14 frame minimum. Er, yeah. Sorry, uh, for Senri, Hyapo Shinsho is an 8 frame oh, yeah. gap. So that would yeah, trade Hyapo with is... 2D, and that is scary as hell. Also, Hyapo I just realized I missed the, a decent amount of this game. The so one that I do almost 100% of the time. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. The the longer one is the one that crosses up as well. Gotcha. And there's a reason I don't use it as much. So yeah, uh, Miles, on... Okay, so 6H, uh, if you instant block it, you can true punish it with 2D. Uh, if you do not instant block it, then you can beat all of their options except for just block and then it's pressure with 5k as long as they are close enough for the 5k to reach. Yeah, but also... What do I tell you? Uh, if you see me 6h and you block it, uh, a puffball is coming or a swoosh is coming, so 2 doing 2 ding can beat both. Uh, that's why I was using 5k as the other option, because uh, it's frame 7 for Elfelt and hits ground. Uh, yeah. Is it? Yeah, I think 5k also hits swoosh, so... Uh, yeah, it hits ground. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back through... Uh... <laughs> Remind me later and I'll tell you, Miles. <laughs> Someone wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Why is this auto 360p? Let's get some real stream quality here. Oh, I can see the game okay. finally. <laughs> My bad, I didn't realize it was that low. Okay, so first things first. Um, for you, Tyler, watch how you start this game. Super jump, instant air backdash, which gives him the full screen. And yeah, you, you go into card charge, but now you have the full screen to get back in. Uh, I don't yeah. know whether card is more worth it than having to run through. Card but... is so so worth it. Okay. Because oh yeah, because like, that, that effectively counts as your first neutral win, right? Yeah, so basically, that into... that, okay. that's almost as equivalent as getting a two D card charge knockdown. Okay. Because that card lets me actually have a stable Oki with better finishers. Okay. Like, uh. Basically, the difference between jam with that card and jam without card is like milia with and without uh, pin. Like, uh, yeah, pin. I guess. Yeah. No, actually, that's really accurate. Okay. Because gotcha. uh, her pin is what lets her get her air knockdown. That's what <laughs> lets me get my air knockdown. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um. Then the second question is. Okay. You moved forward because he fainted moving forward. Never mind. I was going to say, if the one card is worth that much, why didn't you go for the second one? But second there's a good reason. Second card is not as worth, but mm -hmm. uh, if, if I'm feeling cheeky, and it, not not it really against Foss, because Foss says far slash, yeah. I might just go, instead of charging 
one card, I'll charge a max Ryujin. Because that <laughs> thing lets me skip neutral. Oh my god, it doesn't let me skip neutral. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Um, Yo, if, if that oh, thing right. counter hits, Since... it's, it's the same thing as counter hit Miss Finder, level 3. Damn! <laughs> uh, also, because I am doing this VOD review for both of you, uh, Dre... Actually, that's real important. Uh, real quick, Dre, watch what you do here at the very start. You do nothing. <laughs> um, very specifically, you weren't even holding back or down back until after uh, Diamond Mew went into the air and backdashed. So if he had done just like round start micro dash 5k or something, uh, you wouldn't have gotten even counter hit. You would have just gotten hit because that is like definitely faster than human reaction time. <laughs> it's like what a frame <laughs> six move. <laughs> It, frame four move. What do you mean? Five K? <laughs> JS five K is four frames. Jeez. It is so good. Oh my god. It's, okay, so no, yeah, it's... with the micro dash it probably hits you frame six. <laughs> also uh it's also a plus two on block. That that uh five K is actually, what makes JM scary. Serious question. Can you micro dash five K as a round start if you're like really optimal with the input and just like it beat out most hard. power slashes? <laughs> Uh, it's hard, plus far slash is just as easy, because far slash is six frames. Okay. So, yeah, trust if me. I'm trying I to... I that it's hard. Uh, I have to do a one frame micro dash 2S to beat out Johnny's just, like, basic coin 2D round start. <laughs> yeah. So, I get it. I've I've labbed that stupid round start micro dash too. <laughs> Against both, if I want to press a button, I'm pressing far slash, because it's way easier to execute, and it's basically the same frames. Gotcha. Uh, okay, so let's see here. So you throw a bomb, run up, which, like, that's good. You have claimed that space, uh, and then you back off on the space. You were actually in a better position when you were right in front of the bomb. Uh, okay, first question, just to make sure I'm not insane. The bomb hits FOSS too, right? Pretty sure it does. I think so. Dre, can you confirm in chat? Okay, yeah. yeah, it does. Okay, then, never mind. For a second, I was thinking that it didn't. Um, yeah, not everyone is Elfelt, by the way. Well, it's you know, very just... specifically, uh, <laughs> I was thinking for some reason that he could 6P and not get hit by the bomb. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Believe Dude, it or not, 6P is strat. not upper body invincible. Or, uh, 6P is not bomb invincible, it's just upper body. So never That'd mind. That would be so cool. Let's throw that out of the way. Um, so yeah, moving back out of the way is fine. I'm surprised you pressed far slash here, because I am surprised it didn't get hit. <laughs> <laughs> like, this had to be within a frame or two of that explosion going off, and your scalpel does have a hurt box. <laughs> uh, however, in this situation, because this basically counts as, like, fake Oki, um, Jam here is going to block it, the only other option is, like, maybe you could parry it or something super cheesy. Uh, yeah, parry's an option. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so you stay back at range and hit far slash. You could probably claim a little bit more space here. And, like, this is this is kind of nitpicky. It's, like, fine. You generally want to be at range in this matchup. But you could probably, like, move up probably roughly, like, here. I don't know if you can see my mouse. And then start stronger pressure from up close. But, yeah, you know, whatever. Okay. Uh, real quick, does this OTG? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, make sure you check your timings for meaties and stuff, because this might be punishable on hit. Um... Because if Diamond Mew had teched here, he could have just forward teched and hit you for it. Make sure that they are down and then standing back up before you go for your meaties. Good 6p. Um, I don't know what Foss gets off non-counter hit 6p. <laughs> what an interaction. Yeah. Oh, also, uh, you did well. You hit Faultless here, but you let go for like... The hit, the frame. Check I hate that you. out. <laughs> yeah. uh, make sure. Oh, so actually, this is real important. 
the correct way to mash uh to mash out of text if you're trying to block is you hold two buttons and mash the other two or sorry two buttons and back so that you will immediately back tech and you are already holding two buttons so you will faultless and then you try and just like mash the other two uh on pad figure out because you play on pad right dre uh assuming so one of your triggers i assume is uh your faultless macro so hold back and that and then mash whatever the other two buttons. Uh, like I think faultless match crow is punch kick. So just like mash slash heavy slash to tech. Uh, and you will just, when you tech, you will be <laughs> holding faultless. Yeah, no, th this is some guilty gear tech, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, but this Hold the button. You don't have to do this to forward or neutral tech, but then you will also not be blocking. You will be forward teching into hitting a button. Yeah. Buttons. But yeah, it, it saves you from things like this. <laughs> yeah. I need to stop only forward tech buttoning because I get I eat a lot of shit because of it sometimes. Man, sometimes I really wish I could six P forward tech buttons, but then I just air throw them instead. <laughs> hey, got me. Oh, speaking of which <laughs> what the fuck? I said How do I do that? I said air throw. Oh. So you specifically realized that if you blocked anything, you'd end up going into the jump pad, so you're like, I am out of here. <laughs> and sometimes it's that pressure that makes you do things. Also, a uh, good mash there, Dre. I'm assuming you know the rules on this. It's uh, generally negative on hit nine times out of ten. There's some weird thing that can make it not be. Uh, and yeah. yeah, Jam didn't have meter. So, uh, However... You mashed once. If you are committing to mashing, commit to your mash. Hit that 2P and have your next like two or three hits buffered behind it already. So like, either you get it, and you're like, okay, I'm doing my combo. Or you don't, you're in a combo, so you know, whatever. <laughs> Continue mashing anyway, you're trying to tech out now. Exactly! <laughs> uh, also, yeah, you're doing a lot of pretty good uh, of the jump 2k approaches, Dre, but definitely try and work on the tiger knee timing. You can get that stuff real low to the ground, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like, on hitbox, it is so so easy to get that, like, minimum height. You don't even see them off the ground. Um, also, Dre, I'm sure you know this already, but definitely something to just, like, work on is confirms off of stray hits. So like, uh, uh, here, something like this, I don't know. I think it's right after this. You get, yeah, so you get the 2P there and don't convert it. You get the counter hit into this. Uh, definitely go and just like double check. Like, I don't know if 5P into that slam works, but. Yeah, there's also a, some faultless cancel thing that you can do that basically just keeps you very low to the ground and lets you do instant overheads, but that's like, you'll learn that eventually. Um, for right now, though, definitely just work on converting stray hits into more stuff, because right now you're getting stray hits and getting a little bit of damage, but not getting like any sort of uh, okey or like strong reward off of it. Also, were you trying to bait a burst there? Or were you going for, like, this level of cheese? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was just that level of cheese. <laughs> okay, um, also, uh, Diamond Mew, I want you to... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Cheese. Okay, so I want you to focus really hard on when you are at the mid-range, like, here, like, back where you're back sleeve is currently against Faust. Um, you have this habit that I see honestly a lot in like it's really common in Smash of like I need to get in right now I am yeah. going to do a dash attack. Um, <laughs> or like uh, oh man I played Falco in Six Brawl. H. He could basically TK side B and land with like half the lag. Uh, wow that was a really bad habit that it took a while for me to break. But yeah with 6H um, occasional puffball, and you do it with super as well. 
So just like keep an eye on that and try and keep track of like when it happens and where it works. And if you can sort of like get a feel for, oh, I'm about to do it here. If someone had a read on me, they could just kill me. Yeah. And it's something I've been trying to work on is instead of just throwing out moves, mix up just dashing at them and throwing out late moves mm -hmm. or uh, dash FD cancel or FD break. Yeah, that's definitely really good. Um, it's really, really hard, but something that I think will, like, once you get it, it will massively level up your game is just this, like, understanding of how you can make people really scared with just movement and no buttons. Um, just because of the threat of what you can do. Yeah. Also, let me rewatch this a little bit for Dre. Uh, real quick, Dre, uh, when someone gets hit by the spring, you can probably just toss out another item. Like, what are they gonna do? Teleport to the ground? <laughs> uh, can Chip teleport to the ground? I don't know. No, he... Zotto can. <laughs> but it's laggy enough you might be able to just hit him anyways. I don't, I don't think Chip can teleport if he's not on the ground. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. But I've pretty sure it's a ground enough. special. <laughs> Why did that end here? Okay, so actually going back to this, so let's see, round start. Uh, the, oh, that's the other thing. You're doing a lot of IADs over, but they're not. I'm not pretty... trying to ID over. <laughs> what are you trying to do there? Uh, I'm trying to like IED and hit air buttons, but I can never like space my da air dash right to actually like land on them with buttons effectively uh i don't i think that that's just like too close from round start yeah. like you will always end over here yeah um you can adjust your but... air dash spacing a little bit by when you press a button you start following but even then you'll be over here and it'll whiff if yeah. they're crouching it, on specifically on round start uh i don't know if i thought this then but if i think someone's gonna just air back dash on round start i can do this to chase them since jam's air dash is faster and uh can go really far so i can actually chase their air dashes gotcha. effectively that um i think you've done quite a few of the forward air dashes here though so just like watch out for that yeah. especially against faust has some of the slowest air dashes in the game uh, <laughs> rest in peace potemkin we don't talk about him but <laughs> it yeah, no, you he should, doesn't have the um, slowest air dash in the game. You're right, he'd have to have one for that. But you should be able to chase, especially, like, Fosts, just fine on the ground. And the scary thing about doing the IAD is Fost here can round start 6p, and it probably counter pokes your buttons and definitely hits your instant air dash. Um, I don't know if it will hit you round start, so there, you know, there's probably some mix up there, and you can probably, like, back dash it or something. But the only way that, like, the the reward there is you get some, you know, some damage if they ensnare backdash or they, like, hit a button that whiffs under you and leaves them standing. But if they're crouching, if they're stand blocking, or if they press a button that just hits you out of startup, then they win. So the risk reward on it's pretty poor. Yeah. Um, Honestly, that's if all my round starts feel like super high risk reward. <laughs> that's fair, um, but in that situation, make sure you go. <laughs> this is bad advice, but if you're going to go for ones that are high risk, anyways, make sure they're high reward ones. Round <laughs> start puff ball. Oh <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Please it's not round start puff ball. It's round start six H that confirms into puff ball if they press a, a low button. Easy, do that all the time. You know what? Doesn't work. You know what? I would argue that that is, like, possibly better than the instant air uh, forward dash. It's only worse if they choose to block, because then I'm in mashable range of, like, every option. I'm just actually true punishable if they block. So it's like... Gotcha. It is a super hard call out. My, my actual round starts are, like, backdash, air backdash, or, like, far slash or 2D. Okay. Um... Can you... I'm assuming you can 6-speed a counter-poke far slashes, too? Yeah, I don't get a whole lot out of it, though. 
Actually, okay. to counter poke far slashes, I press far slash. Mine's faster. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so... that'll do it. And yeah, Miles has a good point. You probably have that habit from fighting Miles so much. <laughs> yeah, and you, because you, you do it a lot too. Mm -hmm. Because it's pretty good against jam, because you create and space and you It's just like mine. generally the safest round start option for Elfel, because you can, uh, against, it should be the entire cast, you can just be like, I'm giving up this much space and I'm out of here. And the only things that like punish you for it uh, you're giving up space, which is a like really soft punish on its own. Um, like it is a loss on your end, but they have to yeah, like instant air forward dash or chase really hard to get it. And if they chase yeah. super hard, you can just like jump dust it on the way down. <laughs> um, but if you just like run up and stop at roughly your pressure or pressure range and block, then uh, jump dust isn't super plus. <laughs> I assume it's plus I'll if you do it like right as you land. I'll just but... run forward and parry. I yeah, uh... actually, <laughs> that's like <laughs> that'll do it. <laughs> oh, but okay, yeah, definitely try and go for your lower risk uh, round starts more. Uh, and Dre, your round start is just like far slash. Two uh, K, I don't believe hits there. Uh, there. I mean, like it probably catches a dash forward or something, and I don't know how it interacts with other. <laughs> Got him. Uh, Five hurt boxes. Oof. He's got a bat. Okay. Uh, here's another quick example, Dre, uh, where you get like a good couple hits and just. I'm assuming there was supposed to be a slash in there before the 2H. So, you know, just like combo familiarity stuff. I know you already know, but I'm just trying to point out like the damage that is being given up by it specifically. Ouch. Oh, <laughs> rip. Oop. Yep. Uh, good work stuffing there with the far slash. And just to double check, I'm going to assume you... Yep. So, okay. You... That's puffball, right? Or is that just the dash? Uh, that was just the dash. Okay. Like, the, the command dash... You never see me do long command dashes, because I almost always instantly cancel it into a, uh, one of the follow-ups. Oh, no, that was the start of a puffball. Okay. But... So you, I I can drag out. So specifically, you got there. knocked back. Uh, you had your bur burst forced out, and you're like, okay, I need to get in. I'm low on health, and so you did force my way in option, and then you do six H to force your way in option, and yeah, those are specifically like what's getting you hit, probably at least half of the time here. So if you I'm can get sure it's well out, over half. I don't know, some of them are just, like, stray hits. <laughs> yeah. Okay, though. I'm gonna try and stop pausing quite as much so this doesn't take, like, three hours per VOD, <laughs> but... What do you mean? In-depth. Also, Dre, real quick, you seem to have a very good understanding of where your 5k hits, because you are constantly spacing... Uh, just outside of range. <laughs> 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 so this will definitely hit them if they walk into it. But uh, it looks like you're just a little bit uncomfortable with movement. The best way I could describe it is you look like me playing on my Smashbox. Or you can do like half the stuff, but just like walking is hard. <laughs> Again, a lot of that's just game familiarity. Ouchie. Didn't FD in the end. Yeah, I was going to say you got to FD that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, real quick. 6H. What was the idea behind that one? Was it just trying to call out him moving forward instead of jumping? I'm assuming. You know, or... couldn't tell you. Okay. Um, try and look for these in, like, while you're playing then, because the other thing, this is either a call out on you think he's going to dash forward and press a button, so you're trying to counter hit far slash. But it happens late enough that it's like borderline that, or I'm in the corner, I need out, force my way out. Yeah. Um, and it's specifically those. T <laughs> what a frame. It's specifically <laughs> those times where you're like, I need to force something that, like, getting past that is your core thing. Ooh, got him. <laughs> Good knockdown. Yep. And, uh, okay, so something I noticed on the first watch through, Dre bursted there, 
and I don't know if this was intentional by him, but uh, this time you kept your card. The next time he bursts, he does it after you've burned your card. Yeah, it's so, so annoying when people do that. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's the best time if you want to OTG burst or something. Yep, because it's just like, well, sure, my burst doesn't get me out of much damage, but like, you don't get a card. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so those confirms specifically are so hard to convert off of because I am trying to puff ball there, but mm -hmm. I'm getting counter hit, which takes me out of whatever I'm doing, and then I oh. immediately go close slash. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Like, it, it, like, interrupts uh, my special input, and I just get close slash, and I'm like, shit, what was I supposed to do here? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just mashing. Okay, um, actually here, real quick, this is something that I've definitely noticed a couple times from you, Dre. Uh, pay attention to, let's see. So pay attention to your movement, because there's quite a few times here where even if you don't get a hit, uh, you have the neutral advantage, or you have at least, you've earned enough of a hole in pressure that you can use it to get out or at least get further away from the corner. Um, but I'm assuming you just don't recognize the situation in time. Uh, most of the time you are staying in the corner when it happens. So like here, um, 2k, sure, that'll stuff if she tries to run in and diamond me, you do the right thing, you just like block just out of range. And then you go into with punish, but like, hey, look, round two. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Um, and then I'm assuming that's a drop confirm attempt because that was kind of at the range. But okay, so right here, I think it is. Yeah, so you get a hit and don't manage to convert it into much, but where was it? Okay, so in this situation here, Whoopsie, is too far back. So you have managed to get out of the corner. <laughs> However, um, you have two choices here. One is push the corner advantage, which is what you go for, though I would argue that throwing an item here is very high risk because it's very slow and has the chance of being, like, giving them more health. Um, and also, I'm Jam. If that wasn't a 6k and I saw you toss an item... I would just counter hit that. Yeah. With like another button. Oh. Or I do. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so once that's happened and you're like jumping here, I would be trying to reset to mid screen. Because again, as Faust, you have the notable range advantage. It is on jam to get in. If she backs out to full screen, you can like micro dash scapel pull probably you might have to more than micro dash but you should be able to do something about that and force her to like yrc and otherwise she just she has to play your like pseudo zoning poke game to get in before she can kill you works out for you though all right damn you i'm gonna need you to block those <laughs> no <laughs> I you see cannot that. force me to block you are correct <laughs> Uh, oh, and here's another really important thing. You side swap here, and you immediately start backing off um, and giving up space and pushing yourself closer to the corner. That can be an option. Just watch out for it being a habit, because it looks like that is your like initial response, and you can give up a lot of space and put yourself in some really <laughs> bad situations if you do that. <laughs> What a YRC. <laughs> I swear that YRC messed up my own RC timing. <laughs> Which one? The You didn't have meter for uh, it. Oh wait, no, not that. Never mind. I just messed up my own... Oh no, I didn't have meter Did I have meter for it? I don't know. Okay. So No, I definitely didn't have meter. Yeah. <laughs> What a wire C. That could have been an air throw. Why did I jump D? Oh, what crack was I on? Where? Round start. <laughs> oh, yeah. And yeah, keep in mind that's another one of the FIADs there. Ooh, bounce. Okay, Um, the other thing to definitely watch for there, Dre, is you can throw an item, like, while they're on the way up. I think you might have to wait until they're at the apex. Uh... But, like, 
default play should probably be just trying to 6p them on the way down. Especially since Faust is, like, huge. Yeah, Faust 6p is amazing. You, and you can honestly 2k. <laughs> I mean, you can. <laughs> Door. Uh, Door should be, like, true punishable there, by the way. I don't know, they... That's why I'm telling you. Also, yeah. good pickup there. Yeah, I was supposed to be a micro dash 5k, but, you know, 6k also works. <laughs> Because a, a micro dash 5k would have picked up into more combos. So this ah, works here. I finally did it. But then notice what happens. <laughs> yeah, don't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> and specifically, I think he can true punish you here. Yep. Uh, or that might not be a true punish, but it's I like, just didn't block. Yeah. It is at least your turn is over. Oh, actually, uh, sorry, Dre. So, first step is like learning better confirms off of like stray hits more reliable stuff second is knowing the pushback on your moves because you do quite a bit of like poking at someone and then doing 2k at a range where it whiffs um but if you can learn where the like what move to go for there instead then that'll make your pressure a lot stronger because basically you are ending your turn when you don't have to <laughs> 2k also, nice stand block there to make the bomb not blow up the oil. Uh, yeah, it was intentional. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm assuming it wasn't, but <laughs> thing is, in air, I air, blo I stand block. <laughs> that is my, that is my whole process of thought. I am. Hey, it works. Also, I don't know if those are on purpose, but like, nice counter pokes against the two H. <laughs> Oh yeah, and good uh, IAD YRC. If you're going to try and force your way in, that is probably one of the best ideas because it's just so low Ooh, commitment pressure time. and so strong. <laughs> uh, yeah, kills meter gain and damage though. So, well, uh, it kills meter gain. It shouldn't kill damage, damage by the time you're in. But yeah, like it is specifically if you are going to try and force your way in which is, yeah. I would recommend doing that slightly less. <laughs> um, <coughs> that's probably how you want to do it. Oh, so yeah, that one worked out. Uh, actually, just like in general, Dre, focus quite a bit on using, yeah, there you go. You got it there. Uh, using 6P. You're getting like some jump normal kicks, though that might just be a drill misinput that if it had been 6p would have gotten you much much more damage <laughs> got him uh. all right at some point diamond mew i want you to hit the lab and just like practice a punish off that off of what off of just like blocking door <laughs> Oh, uh, I'll just say 6H. That'll probably hit. Well, I don't know if you've seen this, but this has happened every time. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't hit. Well, it hits. Once. <laughs> uh, i probably just run forward close slash. Or run forward yeah, probably. Eight. I believe he bounces off and, like, balls all the way to the ground. Wait, that's all he can't do anything state? I'm pretty sure. It might not be all, but it's like, it is time to die negative. <laughs> hmm. Okay, because I, I didn't actually know how negative it was, so I was just sort of pressing things I thought I could do. Gotcha. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hit the lab, find a, like, real punish. And, uh, Dre, watch out for those. <laughs> People are going to be learning more and more of those kinds of punishes. Man. I need to work on my own Oki, too. I see so many times where I don't actually get a meaty mm -hmm. because I've misinputted my micro dash too too early. Um, also get very much in the habit of being able to recognize that you misinputted it and just like bail out if needed. Yeah, that, that's usually what I do. If I don't see the micro dash, 
Uh, I just like stand back and far slash out of range, or I just see what they do. Okay. Also, uh, where was that, Dre? Like here or something? And yeah, that's probably the right idea, but uh, very specifically, Kyle will just like murderize you for uh, not being frame perfect on Medes. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Uh, there's a reason why I so just gave up Oki sometimes against Kyle, because he would consistently reversal Paw Buster me on his own wake up, and I'm like, no, st <laughs> and I couldn't stop him from doing it, so I had to just refuse to meaty him. So punishes seriously, <laughs> especially with like the local scene, I would definitely recommend having your like default meaty timing <laughs> that you practice against being Potemkin. <laughs> Give this further back than that, then. But then I get messed up against Elfel. That's yeah. the other matchup I hate. <laughs> That's fair. Definitely practice them both. Okay, so Dre's saying that there's a 6P in here that he wasn't understanding why he got hit out of it. Uh, so um, I'm trying to find it. It might have been like... I teched out and like hit uh, jump heavy or something? Uh, it looks like he's saying that it like your error button just like won. It, well, it was probably just... <laughs> I was probably just deep enough into Dre that my button uh, counter hit I'm him. I'm assuming. Uh, I'm just trying to find it so I can see. Oh, so yeah, Dre's in chat saying, wait till I can combo properly. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> I have it open, too. <laughs> okay. I'm scared. This set took longer than the one with Miles. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good decision. Hold up. Why the hell <laughs> did you dash here? <laughs> Uh, okay, actually, actually, this is a very, very good uh, point <laughs> of, in case you weren't completely sure that this is a <laughs> habit. <laughs> oh, no, I, I definitely knew it was a habit. Okay, okay. This is the level of habit. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Dude, and he accidentally comboed off of it. I do like how you specifically... Uh, <laughs> You like recognized and tried to puffball the break right here. <laughs> I almost did it too. <laughs> Fast is giving you a wave. <laughs> okay, where is that? Oh uh, yeah, now? Uh, clearly I did it for the memes. It wasn't a misinput. Ah yes, exactly. Okay. Where was the uh where was the 6P? Like do you know what round it was in? Uh, there's a delay on stream. Yeah, no. Okay. Well, oh, we we're probably talking to Dre. Yeah, oh yeah, I am. Oh, round start. What? Uh Was my round start jump P? IED jumpy, what got hit his 6p? Maybe. Oh, wait. I skipped this one's round start. Falcon kick. What? Falcon kick? Uh. Oh, did Ryujin beat. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> definitely possible. Yeah, Ryujin hits really low, and honestly, you might have just done 6p early enough that she like hit after your arm was out or something yeah because yeah ryushin is uh especially if it's carded uh really good at hitting things mm -hmm. okay anyways though so i think that the like the main takeaways here uh i'm gonna start with dre actually are just like movement familiarity and stuff like that and like that comes with time but definitely like try and figure out ways to hit training mode and just like practice moving around uh make sure you've gone through and at least read most of the mission mode stuff as well uh definitely don't need to do all of it but like try and understand it and if you have any questions like go ahead and just you know tag me in the discord or something imagine doing all the mission modes i haven't <laughs> i will be real <laughs> um let's see so that 
combo stuff, and specifically like figuring out when you can and can't combo into 2k. Oh. This one's next. That's weird. Why is it on shuffle? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, Anyways, um, that's so funny. So yeah, comboing into stuff. Uh, oh, sick! Me again. Uh, I might go to a different one next. But <laughs> okay, so combo stuff. Hey, but I can explain ranges... what I'm doing. <laughs> ranges on two K for poking, and just like working your way out of the corner. Yeah. It's a little bit harder as Faust because like the default answer is uh, super jump IAD forward, and your forward IAD is slow as hell, but like, even if you don't successfully make it out of the corner, try and use some of your upcoming matches to like, practice getting out there in the first place, so that you can learn what does and what doesn't work. Uh, for you, right. Tyler, <laughs> it is very specifically... Stop pressing so many buttons! Uh, it's... There is one very specific mid-range. It's that one range. You need to have the option of 6H and Puffball and Swoos and like maybe Super there as options. But think of them, uh, basically, you know the idea behind like correct grappler play where you use the threat of your potbuster or whatever as like the tactical nuke that makes everyone yeah. else play around it? And then you only break it out when, like, every once in a while, when absolutely necessary. This is yeah. your equivalent of that. Um, if you can sit at that mid range, and I like, I want you to in some of your upcoming matches just like sit there and just like wait, just outside of range of most of their buttons. Uh, just like kind of shimmy back and forth, pretend you're playing Grand Blue or something, <laughs> um, and see if you can make them pick like panic options. Yeah, I mean, you can see me do that a little bit in some of my matches, mm -hmm. where I'll like shuffle back and forth because uh, I'm playing. I'm trying to play at a range where I can like whiff punish them, or I'm like just inside of my six H range. Sure. And try to do stuff, but then I'm just like, hmm, what do I do here? Six H time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's <laughs> it's just that like I am I am going to just. I'm just gonna sit here. Yeah. Just I'm not yeah. gonna six H. I'm not gonna puff ball into the jump pad. I'm <laughs> the the few times where I chose not to six H and instead I'm just like I'm just gonna run at them and press like close slash. Mm -hmm. I have actually gotten into close slash range a few times. It just started pressure. Yeah. Because they let me just run it in close slash. Totally. And I'm like, oh, sick. Mm-hmm. And then once you have that mix-up between I have to throw out a button to stuff the dash up close slash, and if I throw out a button, he's going to counter hit 6H me, <laughs> then you can start playing a much, much more like aggressive yeah. neutral. Yeah. Alternatively, that's the range where I can also just swoosh under everything but lows. True. And that's how you get even another option on that. Yeah, so yeah. that and uh, hit the lab, get a door punish. Door punch. Can make people I'll die when the door. they door. You can. Yeah, I know. I accidentally parried up door once. Sick. Because uh, I think I was trying to FD after running. Oh, here, real uh, quick, since there's stream delay. Uh, by the way, Dre, if you have any questions, please ask them in chat. Anyways, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I was, like, dashing, and then I saw a door come out, and I wanted to FD break. But the door crossed me up, so instead, <laughs> I went from dashing to trying to block... So I parried, and then I parried the door hit, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, what? I, I just got so bamboozled that I just did nothing. <laughs> it was great. Okay. Um, let's see, though. See, so yeah, I either have this one of Chari versus you. Uh, okay. Dre... I believe his final big words place. are hashtag big brain plays. Got him. Dude, 